Hi, third grade. This is Mrs. Olney. I hope that you're having a good week so far. So this week, I'll be working on math with you. We're going to spend two days reviewing multiple step word problems. We're going to be taking our quiz on Wednesday, and then we're going to do something different on Friday. So let's get started. So of course, when you are working on multiple step word problems or any word problems, you don't wanna forget about cubes. So let's really quick review the steps. C, circle the numbers. U, underline the question. B, box the keywords, which we talked about a few weeks ago and you've been working on so that you know which operation you need to do. E, evaluate the problem so that you know what to do. S is solve and check. All right, let's get some practice going. We have a word problem right here. Ryan collected 50 comic books. He kept eight for himself and divided the rest equally among his six friends. How many comic books does each friend get? So, of course, first we're going to use cubes. Circle the numbers, 50, eight, and six. Next, underline the question. How many comic books does each friend get? Good. All right, what key words are we going to box? Take a good look. I see a couple different ones. I'm going to box the word kept, divided, which is a huge keyword, equally, and each. Lots of keywords in that one. All right, so let's think about what should we do for step number one. What operation is this problem telling us to do? Well, the first thing I see is that Ryan had 50 comic books and he kept eight of them for himself. So if he's keeping eight, that means he must be getting rid of the rest. So what operation would that indicate that we need to do? Let me change my color here. Subtraction, good. Of course, you always show your work, 50 minus eight. All right, can I do zero minus eight? No, of course not. So I have to regroup, my five becomes a four, and my zero is now a 10. Now I can solve this problem. 10 minus eight is two. Four minus zero is four. Okay. The question is how many comic books does each friend get? Does each friend get 42 comic books? No, because there were only 50 to start with, so that would not make sense. Good, so we need to think about step two. So we know Ryan kept eight of them for himself and now he has 42 that he is dividing equally among six friends. Those are huge keywords in there. What do we need to do? Divide, yep, it tells us right there. All right, so our number that we're working with here is 42 and he's dividing equally among eight friends. So 42 divided by 8, which hopefully I know that from my fact families, and if not, then I'm going to use a strategy such as equal groups, arrays, or repeated subtraction. Give you just a moment to try and solve that on your own. What do we think it is? 42 divided by 8 equals 6. Now, does that answer the problem? And actually, Mrs. Olney made a mistake here. It should be divided among six friends. Oh, Mrs. Olney, this is why you have to circle those numbers and use your cubes. So 42 divided by six equals eight. It's a fact family. Does that make sense? Each friend would get eight comic books? Yes, and don't forget the label on your answer. Silly Mrs. Olney. Good thing we have more to practice on. Let's try another. Adam buys a pair of sneakers for $42. He pays with nine $5 bills. How much change does Adam get back? All right, oh, let's get our pen here so that we can use cubes. 
I see 42, I see 9, I see 5, okay? The question is how much change does Adam get back? Now, of course, the, probably the most important step, I think, is the key words. Hmm. I think back is one. I would also go ahead and box $5 bills. All right, now think about step one. What do we need to do? We know that he bought sneakers that were $42 and he paid with nine $5 bills. Well, how much is nine $5 bills? How can we figure that out? What operation should we use? I would say multiplication. So he had nine five dollars. Oh, the five should be lickety splickety super duper easy. What is nine times five or counting by five nine times? How much money did he hand the cashier? Forty-five dollars. Okay, so he paid $45 and the sneakers only cost 42. So how much change should he get back from the cashier? What operation do we think we need to use? Subtraction. So let's take 45 minus 42. Okay, I don't need to regroup because my bigger number is on top. No need to stop. Five minus two is three. Four minus four is zero. Can't forget my dollar sign. Adam got $3 in change. Very good. All right, let's do the last one for now together. For a craft, each child will need five rubber bands and there are eight children. There are 67 rubber bands. How many rubber bands are left over? All right, of course, step one is cube. Circle my numbers, five, eight, 67. Underline the question. How many rubber bands are left over? Oh my goodness, I already see some keywords. Do you see the keywords? What are they? I see each. I see left. And that's all that I see currently. So let's think, what should we do? So it's a craft, maybe they're an art class. There are eight kids, so it's a small, tiny class, and each one needs five, <clears throat> excuse me, five rubber bands. So how many rubber bands do they need? What operation would give us that answer? My favorite one, multiplication. There's eight kids, each kid needs five. It's again another fives, okay? Eight times five is 40. So the art teacher will need to pass out 40 rubber bands, and she has 67. So how many are left over or not being used? Left is a big keyword for subtraction. 67 minus 40. Oh, good, we're lucky, no regrouping again. Seven minus zero is seven. Six minus four is two. Don't forget your label, 27 rubber bands. Awesome. So a few reminders as we're wrapping up our multiple step word problem unit. Don't forget to show your work. Okay, on your assignment on class kick, you will have a space where you should show your work that your teachers will be looking for. Every problem has at least two or more steps, which is why it's called multiple steps. So if you find yourself only doing one, you may need to think to yourself, well, where's the other one? What did I miss? Read the problem carefully so that you know what to do. Make sure that your answer makes sense with the problem. We kind of talked about that in one of the earlier problems. It didn't make sense for each of his friends to get 42 comic books because he only started with 50. All right, I'm going to show you your assignment for today. It is on Class Kick. It is called 427 multi-step problems. Let's take a look. So today you have task cards just like you had last week. Today there are four. What your teachers are looking to see is that you are using cubes for each one. 
that you are showing your work, which is on the next page. I split the page up so that your work for number one goes in this square here and so on. So we're looking for cubes, show your work, and your answer with a label, okay? Work super hard and make sure that that answer makes sense, and I will talk to you in a few days. Have a great day.